Hello, how are you doing? This is going to be a quick video on the truth of what is a nautical mile. Because there's a lot of rubbish out there about them being connected to a glow guard. Which... He's going to give to us more rubbish. He's completely wrong, but let's take a look at his video. Which is not true. Nothing to do with a glow guard whatsoever. What is a nautical mile? One nautical mile equals one minute of degree. 60 minutes of degree equals one degree. So one degree equals 60 nautical miles. Uh, sure. Okay. Everybody knows this, I hope. You know, junior high school math. Degrees are measured with angles. And angles to the celestial objects measure a difference in degrees from a starting point of 90 degrees. For example, an angle that is 36 degrees off the horizon means that there is a deficit of 54 degrees from the 90. So that's 54 degrees of celestial distance from the observer's position, which gives us a straight line sky measurement of 54 degrees by 16 nautical miles. Uh, this has absolutely nothing to do with nautical miles, but okay. Which is 3,240 nautical sky miles. Um, no. <clears throat> The angle of some celestial object does not equal anything like a nautical mile or a statue mile. He's not very bright on this subject, but he's correcting everybody. So nautical miles have absolutely nothing to do with the surface of a globe out. Sky miles. I celestial navigate. There's no such thing as sky miles. They are a measurement of the sky, which are then translated onto the Earth's surface via the zeniths of the observer and chosen celestial object. Uh, that is how we calculate the distance of a nautical mile. A spherical Earth. Anyhow. Surface-based measurement is done in statuette miles. As statuette miles are not a reference of or determined by the sky. Only, only nautical miles. Our measurement of and determined by the sky. That of course makes absolutely no sense. When one is measuring the distance from the horizon to a celestial object, one is calculating a line of position. If you get several lines of position with different not uh, celestial objects um, widely apart, you know, like maybe four 90 degree uh, celestial objects you know, around you, those lines of position cross and you put that on the map and by golly, you know where you are. Sky miles? Huh? There is no such thing as a globe-based nautical mile. No. The word nautical is defined as of or concerning navigation sailors or the sea maritime the word nautical has no connection whatsoever with heliocentric belief or claims there is no globe miles nautical miles depend on a spherical earth that is what they are the distance the circumference of earth you chop those into 360 degrees multiplied by 60 and you get approximately 21,880 whatever the fuck nautical miles even though the number is actually 21,600 miles so nautical miles are not precisely uh, one minute of arc on the surface here wow oh. i wonder if this person has actually done the math and did that take 360 degrees multiply it by 60 and compare that sum to what the scientists say the um, diameter of Earth is nautical miles. 6,880 is the correct diameter in nautical miles. So, I proved him wrong. I mean, can't argue with the math. Okay, this is very simple. Okay, <clears throat> here is the GP of the star. Here is the observer. Here is a 40 degree angle, right, to the star, which is here, okay? This is the observer zenith here. This is the zenith of the GP of the star. They have a co-altitude. 
okay i'm just going to read this out here then i'm going to show a very very quick demonstration to show exactly what nautical miles are and why there there are 16 nautical miles per degree nautical miles are globe miles okay 40 degrees of angle okay 40 degrees of angle leaves a deficit from 90 of 50 degrees which works out at as 3000 navigators minutes the zenith above the observer doesn't add to the equation when determining distance and in this case determining a line of position and not a distance the zenith of the celestial body gives the line of position or 3,453.338 statuate miles of surface distance. No such thing as navigator's minutes, also the 50 whatever the fuck he said, doesn't apply. Where the fuck did he get this? Who the fuck knows? But a more well-known term when referring to navigator's minutes is nautical miles as they had to convert every single navigator's minute into an earth surface equivalent and that is why 60 navigator's minutes became 60 nautical miles it is the observer's position that is being determined not where somebody already knows where they are and how far they have to travel to have that celestial object be um on their uh Midheaven. heaven Oy vey. Attention, attention, attention. This is the important part. Navigator's minutes are sky miles and have absolutely nothing to do with a globe out or heliocentrism. Nautical miles reference the sky and statuate miles reference the earth. Now multiply that by 360 degrees. You get the circumference of earth. One is for distance, statuate miles, and the other is for navigation, nautical miles, or navigator's minutes. Okay, so this is how it works, right? So, see this purple line here? This is the 3,000 navigator's minutes. No. Okay, or 3,453 statuate miles, right? In a straight line distance. But because it's in the sky, it's not a mile. Right? It's not a statue of mile. So what they had to do is take all these navigators' minutes, right, once they have uh, determined that distance, which is a co-altitude distance. Of course, there is no such thing as an altitude distance. They then take those 3,000 navigators' minutes and bring them down to the surface of the earth and call them nautical miles. That's why there is three, sorry, that is why there is 60 nautical miles per degree because there are 60 minutes per degree right 60 navigators minutes per degree that is why we have 60 nautical miles per degree but we have 69 statuate miles statuate miles are surface-based measurement okay whereas nautical miles or a better term for them navigators minutes still is no such thing my burrito needs more Pepper sauce. Okay, our a sky based navigation distance. A line of position is not a measure of distance. Two different things. Right? Just because they have the word mile behind them, one is statuate and one is nautical. Look at the word nautical. What does it mean? It means navigation. It's a navigation mile. Right? Nautical miles, navigation miles. He's mentioned this incorrect conclusion of his several times. One would think just once would be enough. Navigator's minutes. That's what's going on. So it has nothing to do with a globe, nothing to do with the center of anything or any other idiotic claim. Okay, they're navigator's minutes. That's why there are 60 of them per degree. Because uh, 60 uh, nautical miles per degree because there's 60 navigator's minutes per degree. Now, I can't make it any more simple than this. Gosh, he just keeps going on and on and on about his navigator's minutes. Ah. 
and he is trying to educate us. Either you get it or you don't get it. Thank you. That's right. We're just too stupid to get it. <laughs>